Hi guys, welcome back to Bike Matters. Today at Bike Matters HQ, I've got the AJS Cadwell Clubman 125, as you can see. So the Cadwell Clubman is the flagship of the Heritage range from AJS, and I think you can agree, it's absolutely stunning. Of course, it comes in this black and gold finish. It's the only one you're gonna get with the Cadwell Clubman, and I think it looks absolutely beautiful for a cafe racer. So the Cadwell Clubman 125 comes with a few extra bits that the Cadwell 125 doesn't come with. Now, these are some really decent parts that really take that extra level to just bring it above the Cadwell. And you pay a little bit more for it, but the style that comes along with it, I think it's well worth it. Now those parts are these upside down forks that you can see here, really decent, really big size, and I just really like the look of them. You get the top yoke with the clip-ons attached to the top yoke. So you just straight away, you're into that cafe racer, like hunched over position, and it's a really good look as well. I mean, from the front end, the bike just looks like nothing else. Straight away, moving back from there, you get the padded seat, and that's something that comes with the Clubman 125. The Cadwell has a decent seat with a rear cow, but this is a padded seat that's really comfortable, surprisingly. Moving there, you've got the number boards that you get as well, and this is something that the Cadwell Clubman has. The Cadwell has just like a sort of plate, a plastic plate over, which looks fine, but the Clubman really takes it to the next level with that cafe racer vibe. And moving slightly back from there, you've got the, the suspension shocks here are really good. You get two shocks, one on each side, and they provide some really good sort of suspension to keep you nice and solid on the road. It's nice and firm, but it is solid. You get a actual sort of kickstand lever here, but it has got the electric ignition as well. One thing I have noted for this Cafe Racer is the sort of the sets here where you put your legs, they're a bit forward. So when you are on the bike, your leg is quite underneath you. So whereas I'd prefer it a bit back, it's quite forward. So you are sort of crouched in, you're leaning forward and crouched. So it's a bit of a funny position sometimes, but once you get used to it, it's absolutely fine. For a Cafe Racer 125, the Cadwell Clubman does really well and it looks so smart. And I think, if anything, it's one of the nicer bikes that we've had in Bike Max HQ. Now, it does come with a lot of parts and some customization options as well. You can buy accessories straight from AJS and you can get a different colored seat, like a tan brown leather seat, which looks really good. Now the seat itself is a 740 mil height and it is quite a small bike. So any higher than that and you'd be sitting way too high. So it's a good height for the bike. It does sound a bit low, which makes it accessible. In terms of the tank, it's an 11.2 liter tank and it gets around 180 miles per gallon. So it's respectable. There isn't a fuel gauge, but there is a fuel warning light. Again, it's quite classic styling on terms of the instrument panel. So you don't really get too much information, but it gives you the bare amounts that just allow you to use the bike as normal. And I think it's fine. It fits with the classic styling really nicely. So no complaints there at all. So it's all well and good, this bike looking the business on the road, but does it perform on the road? Now, of course, you'll see that in a minute when I'm out on the road on the bike, but the engine itself that comes with this is a four stroke single cylinder overhead cam, it puts up 9.9 .9 brake horsepower at 9,000 RPM and it redlines at 10. So overall, it's quite a decent engine. I mean, you'd expect a little bit more, but at the same time, the bike only weighs 113 kilograms or thereabouts. So it's a really light, small bike and the engine itself, nice and pokey, nice and nimble. I don't know the exact torque numbers, but it has a lot of low end power. So if you're cruising around at 30 and you accelerate to maybe 40 or 50, it has that push to really get you there and it, it feels respectable. Around the corners and stuff like that, absolutely fine. But again, you'll see that on the road ride in a minute. So it's all well and good about the power of the bike, but what about the sort of stopping power and the brakes? Now you've got a front and rear disc, and the front disc is absolutely massive, and a single rear disc at the back. So overall, stopping power is really good. Of course, again, I mentioned this before, but again, it's a really light bike, so the brakes perform really well to stop the bike and keep you sort of feeling secure and stable on the road. Now the wheels themselves, really nice spoke rims, as you can see, and there's some 17 inch on both front and rear. And surprisingly as well, I thought before seeing this bike that the wheels would be really narrow and slim, but they're decent. They are really decent wheels. So no complaints on the wheels or the braking at all. This has got a nice little low gurgle to it. It's like yeah, it, just, it sounds respectable. There's a slightly bigger sounded bike to it. It's decent. I like it a lot. Single cylinder, isn't it? 
Yeah. Right. Off we go. So we're on the road. It's the AJS Cadwell Clubman 125 still, of course. It hasn't changed since the <laughs> intro to the video. I mean, initially, the first sort of impressions of this bike on the road, everything's good. I really like the way it rides. It's nice and smooth and it feels responsive. But yeah, initially, I fit quite nicely on the bike. Seat height's decent, 740 mil. So you're not gonna have any problems getting on it. It is quite a small little cafe racer, of course. It gets the looks and all of the classic inspiration from AJS. Now, of course, AJS are a well-known British manufacturer who have now outsourced their sort of manufacturing of bikes to China. Of course, that's instantly going to get a few people's backs up where they say, well, that means it's <laughs> But the parts and, you know, the care and attention to detail that's gone into this bike, you can really tell that they aren't doing anything but trying their best at making bikes affordable and look good. So of course, AJS is a good little brand name. You'll get some looks just from riding an AJS about, whether it's the Medina, whether it's the Cadwell Clubman. Both are nice retro classic themed bikes slash scooters. And I really like the look of them. Now me and Brett both feel very cool riding these about. <laughs> I'm looking a dude. <laughs> If I knew any Italian, I'd be shouting out right about now. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just as well. So we're just going to give these a little ride around the local area. I mean, neither bike is going to be at its best at high speed. So this one maxes out around 60. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think you can really complain too much about the speed on this. It's all about style and how you look and how you sound and how you feel. Just don't expect top speed. Oh. <laughs> Almost get flattened by a lorry. Not a lorry, a van. Oh. It's really put me off that gearbox is really solid on this as well really respectable i mean you clink it into gear and you know that you've got it in gear i've had a few times when i haven't lifted my foot well enough because for me my legs are quite cramped up because i'm a giant at six foot four so my foot you know i have to really lever it into position and sometimes that means that i can't lift my foot well enough but again that's just a problem for me that's not a fault on the bike at all because in general the gearbox is really solid and it does really well so if you're a new rider and you want to get something stylish on the roads I think you can definitely consider this there now the brakes are really good as well you've got a combined braking system on this disc on the front and rear and a massive front disc and something I think is is nice is that the brakes feel really responsive now the brake pedal maybe if I can have a cheeky look down in a second and you can see it. It's a really sturdy looking brake pedal. And the lever at the front for the front brake is very good. I don't know if you see it there. It's a really nice meaty pedal. You press down on it, you know what's gonna happen. You're gonna brake. <laughs> but yeah, the brake's really good. Shall we try going that way? Hold on. Do you think we should try going that way? Yeah. Because this is so nice to chuck around on those back corners. Like, I bet this is absolutely yeah, joy. It's just, it's an absolute treat to ride around. Really it, like it. The more I ride it, the more I just get on with it even more. And it's the thing that when I was on it is it's so much more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It really is an enjoyable. I thought my wrist, you know, a couple of times that would be agony. Yeah, no, I, I thought but, obviously getting on this, the size I am. 
yeah. I thought I'd be leaning forward, hunkering down, but it's you not, can just it? ca- comfortably ride yeah. it, and it's really nice, really nice. You still get on well with that gear, Bob? Yeah. It's just solid, isn't it? Yeah, just really nice. There's been a few times where I've lifted it to go to second gear, and I've clicked it into neutral, but yeah. that's just because what, the way my foot is, I can't yeah. lift all the way sometimes. Quite so, tall. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. the way that I am but there's no fault on the gearbox because it's no. so solid like you click yeah. it into gear yeah. and it's in gear and there's no there's no two ways about it that's the whole good. look of that bike is pretty damn good yeah like, even the mirrors like the more I look at it the, with the clip-ons and the mirrors yeah it's just like, uh, even the exhaust I think it's a big one stainless exhaust yeah we might it's just to get a 125 with you know a proper exhaust is nice yeah and it just flows nicely. You got a little bit of compromises like the lights. Yeah, I mean the, this sort of light housing's a bit touch and go, yeah. and like these reflectors and the indicators, stuff like that it, that it, needs to be on there. They are a bit cheap, but when you look at the whole bike, you think, well, what's yeah, that? Was exactly. it two thousand six hundred? Two thousand six nine nine, so two thousand seven hundred ish, yeah. and that's not bad yeah. for what you get. And then because it's a cafe racer, you're gonna naturally want to customize it and. Yeah put parts on yourself and the, I really like the piggy is it piggyback um, suspension yeah the little reservoir yeah. oil bits it looks so cool it's so and nice with the number plate as well just under your leg and like the typical AJ yeah. styling to think like a 17 year old could ride that yeah I was saying like if, if you want a bike with style this is it yeah it's and just it's not that expensive not at all not at all alright I'll let you lead I don't know where I'm going though so it's all well and good enjoying this bike as you know a fun bit to ride around but what's it like as a daily commuter or something that you'd have just to use daily and I think you, you'd get on well with it I mean storage is a bit of an issue because there's nowhere to put anything other than backpacking in your jacket stuff like that but miles per gallon I mean you you're gonna get over 100 miles per gallon on this um, fuel tanks uh, 11 litres so that's respectable Fuel tank looks really nice as well, by the way. It does feel a bit narrow, but it's in keeping with the style of the bike. So yeah, I mean, the dash itself, I think looks really nice, like visually it's pleasing, but it doesn't do much in the way of telling you much information. Now again, it's part of the classic look and classic style. You're not gonna expect much from it. It's all in the way of, you know, rider modes, ABS warnings and all this stuff. Like it's just gonna have a check engine light, indicators, and a fuel level like the fuel light sorry so you know don't expect anything in regards to like a gauge to tell you exactly how much fuel you've got left and the uh, odometer is in kilometers so this hasn't actually done 59 miles which is now soon going to be 60 it's uh 60 kilometers so bear that in mind if you get one and you're getting an mot or something like that because it doesn't actually indicate it on there. It's in miles per hour for the speed, but kilometers for the rest. And whilst we're just cruising around, I think it's probably worth mentioning that we are powered by Lexum. So huge thank you to Lexum for powering Bike Matters. If you are looking to get a quote on a cafe racer, a 125, a scooter even, give them a call. I'm sure they'll be able to do a competitive quote. Just make sure that when you do call them, you let them know that Bike Matters have sent you. And they'll see what they can do for you. So huge thank you to Lexan. Cheers. One thing I haven't actually mentioned is that this bike has got a balance shaft. And it really does what it says on the tin, really, because it balances out the engine vibrations, keeps it nice and stable and responsive on the road. And for a 125 single cylinder, you're really going to have to be living high in the rev range, of course, that is natural for a 125. So, I mean, the fact is, if you've got a single cylinder that's working its heart out, it's going to be vibrating all over the place. Now, the balance shaft then comes in to keep it nice and stable, so you don't get the vibrations at the high end, the high revs, until the very, very top end of this speed, so about 60. Now the forks and the suspension shocks at the rear are very, very good. Keeps it nice and firm, and you do go over a leaf and sometimes feel it, but they do a good job at absorbing any bumps and just keeping the wheels on the road and keeping you, you know, hunkered down. You're not bouncing around out of that riding position. 
especially at 60. So it's firm, but it's good. It's like a racer's positioning. Of course, a cafe racer is always going to be a quite a firm ride. So don't get this expecting it to be, you know, like a Tora. Because this bike is so lightweight, 113 kilograms of wet. And it's so sort of short wheelbase of 13, 30 mil. So 1.3 meters. So you can really chuck this bike into the corners. And it's got good stable wheels, 17 inch wheels. And they're decently wide as well. So you've got a lot of confidence in throwing this bike around. And bear in mind, this hasn't actually even been run in yet. This is literally at like 40 miles so far, roughly. So it's agreed, me and Brett both love the AJS. I think they've got both of these bang on, to be honest. It's not necessarily that we were fearful that they wouldn't do well, but um, there was just something that just niggled me to say, if these ride really well, it's gonna be good. If they ride really poor, like if the gearbox isn't there, the ratios on the gears are bad, the engine's just anemic, it would just be really bad but I'm incredibly impressed with this bike as Brett was saying there is a few parts that uh, could be better in terms of you know the, the sort of finish on some of the parts like the indicators and stuff like that but overall the Cadwell Clubman brilliant really brilliant and as I was saying the more I ride this bike the more I enjoy it it's not one where I'm getting a bit sick of it or anything like that. This is just, it's becoming more and more one of my favourite bikes I've ever ridden. Quite honestly. So this has been the AJS Cadwell Clubman 125. Absolutely brilliant bike. I really love it, as you can tell. Of course, if you have enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate a like on it. Comment down below, let, let me know what you think about the bike. If you'd get one yourself, if you've got a different cafe racer in mind, or if this is the one for you. And whilst you're down there, you can subscribe if you want as well. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified about all of our latest videos coming out. You can stay up to date with all of the reviews and videos that we've got on the way. But yeah, I've been Alex for Bike Matters, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.